Hello everyone. I hope you have watched my previous videos for the Maths Lab activities for class 11. This is the fourth one which I am sharing with you. It is demonstrate that an arithmetic mean of two positive numbers is always greater than the geometric mean. And this is going to be the objective of the activity that we'll demonstrate that whenever I have two positive numbers, their arithmetic mean is always greater than their geometric mean. Now you know that if I have two numbers A and B, then what is its uh, arithmetic mean? It is given by A plus B upon 2. And if I want to find out the geometric mean, it is square root of their product. Now I will show that given two numbers A and B, their arithmetic mean A plus B upon 2 is always greater than the geometric mean, that is the square root of AB. Let us try doing the activity. Uh, the material required is colored chart paper, ruler, sketch pens, and the cutter. The method of construction, I will take a chart paper and I'll cut off four rectangular pieces of dimensions A into B, length A and breadth B. They can be of same color, they can be of different colors. Uh, aesthetically, they will look better if we are, we are using four different colors. So I've done that. I take uh, four sheets of paper and I cut out identical rectangular pieces and I arrange them like this. I take the first so and that will become my figure one. So let us find out which is the figure one. Uh, I take the first rectangular sheet. It can be, let's say, five centimeters by three centimeters, whatever width you want to take. I will take uh, whatever length and breadth you want to take. You will be taking it like that. But they have to be four identical ones. So I take the first one. I take the second one and I put it like this. Third one, again like this. And the fourth one, I need like this. Now you can see that it is forming a square. Let us do the labeling of this figure. I take this as the first rectangle, second rectangle, third rectangle, and the fourth rectangle. The outside vertices I mark A, B, C, and D. Let us mark the inside of this. What is this? This is going to be P, Q, R, and S. Now, if I take the length to be as A and the breadth to be as B, so let us do the markings. I mark A is here first, A here, again A here, A here. This is also A. So I have marked all the four A's. Let me mark all the B's. Now this is going to be one B. This is the breadth B. Again, this will also be breadth B. I mark it. This is also as breadth B. Then I mark another breadth B. And last one, breadth B is here. Now once I have marked, marked A and B, just tell me what is the length of AB? Is it A plus B? The length of BC, again, A plus B. The length of uh, CD, it is again A plus B. And the length of DA is also A plus B. All the angles being 90 degrees, this becomes a square. So I have A, B, C, D, a square of side A plus B. What about the inner square? P, Q, R, S. Now, this complete was how much? This complete was A. And this is B. So is SR not A minus B? QR is if I want to take this complete was how much A and this is B. So if from A I subtract B, this uh, QR is also A minus B. Exactly same way PQ is also A minus B, PS is also A minus B. So this becomes what? This again PQRS becomes a square of side A minus B. This angle being 90 degrees, so automatically this angle also becomes 90 degrees. All the sides are of length A minus B, one angle being 90 degrees. So this PQRS is a square of length A minus B. So this is again, I just copied down the figure once again here so that it is easy for us to recall the things. Uh, as I told you, ABCD is the square of side A plus B units. And what is the area of ABCD then? The area of ABCD will be equal to side square, which is A plus B whole square. The area of four rectangular pieces is going to be how much? Each rectangular has uh, piece has the length A and the breadth B. So the area comes out to be A into B. Because there are four such pieces, I get 4AB as the total area of the four rectangular pieces. So PQR is the square of side A minus B. That also I explained earlier. And the area... Of ABCD is what? The area of ABCD is equal to the sum of areas of all these four rectangular sheets plus the area of this smaller square. So if you see ABCD is one square, 
which area is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and the area of the inner white square of PQRS. This was figure 1. Now, clearly this area of ABCD is more than the area of these four regions because these four regions along with this square, which is definitely some quantity, whatever it may be, is adding up to give me ABCD. That means area of complete ABCD is more than the area of these four rectangular pieces. So what is area of ABCD? A plus B whole square, which is greater than four times AB. Four times AB, let me just simplify this. If I take this four here, I get A plus B whole square upon four is, is greater than AB. A plus B whole square upon four can be written as A plus B upon two whole square. That is greater than AB. Now, that means that if I take the square root of both sides, I get A plus B upon 2 is greater than square root of AB. Can you identify what is this? I told you in the beginning, this is the arithmetic mean of A and B and this is the geometric mean of A and B. That means I get that the arithmetic mean is greater than the geometric mean and that is what I want to prove. So I hope the activity is clear to you. Let us uh, just pen down our observations. I have again the same square. Uh, let me give some values to A and B. If I take A as 5 and B as 3, then AB is how much? AB is going to be A plus B. That means 5 plus 3, which is going to be 8 units. Uh, what about the area of ABCD? I told you area of ABCD is A plus B whole square. So that means A plus B I found out to be 8. So the area comes out to be 8 square, which is equal to how much? 64 units, right? Now, what is the area of each rectangle? Each rectangle is having the length A, breadth B. The area comes out to be A into B. That means 5 into 3 comes out to be 15 square units. Uh, area of the square PQRS. PQRS length is how much? A length of PQ is given by A minus B. I told you this complete is A. From that, I subtract B. So, I get PQ equal to A minus B. And the length of A minus B remains 5 minus 3, which is 2, 2 square, which means 4. Uh, area of ABCD is what? I had told you it is 4 times the area of the rectangular piece plus the area of square PQRS. So area of ABCD means what? It is 64 is equal to 4 into the area of rectangular piece, which is 15 plus 4. So clearly 64 is greater than 4 times 15. 64 is greater than 60 or not? So 64 is greater than 4 times 15. Or I can say that A plus B whole square is greater than 4AB. So Or I can say that A plus B by 2 whole square is greater than AB. Or I can say that A plus B upon 2 is greater than square root of AB, which shows that Arithmetic mean AM is greater than the geometric mean GM. So I hope this activity is clear to you. Please watch the video again. If you have the slightest of the doubts, I'm sure it's going to be helpful for you. Thank you so much.